I go to work before most people even wake up. The sky is still dark. Dawn hasn't even come yet. The train sways slightly as though it were still fighting off the last vestiges of sleep. To tell the truth, waking up so early used to be a real pain. But after several years of this life, it started to feel almost normal. Several days ago, though, something happened that definitely wasn't. The doors hissed open and footsteps echoed through the empty carriage. Looking up, I saw two familiar faces coming up to me. Oh, there he is. Morning, mister. Good, good morning, sir. Good morning. You're both early as usual, I see. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <sighs> there we go. The train's empty this morning as usual. Asuna, you're being a bit rude again. Really? You think so? I do. I also think you should close your legs, too. <laughs> and what do you think, mister? I think Mia's right. You should close your legs. Huh? What's this? Do you prefer neat and proper girls like Mia to an energetic girl like me? D do you really? No, that's not what I meant. Oh, it's not. Uh, I see. I mean, I don't exactly mean no, either. God, make up your mind already. I feel like you guys are mocking me, especially Asane. Oops, you got us. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to. The reason why my normally dreary commute became so merry and full of life goes back to an incident about a week ago. Every morning I got on the first train to go to work. It's about a three hour ride. But on the plus side, it's relatively uncrowded. My desperate attempt to avoid the rush hour is necessitated by the fact that I live in a typical bedroom community due to issues with the rent. That day, as usual, I was passing the time reading with a free app on my phone when... Hey, I know that manga. It's pretty good, isn't it? Huh? The manga you're reading right now. My sister Mia collects those at home. Right, Mia? Excuse me? Yes, I like it. Um... I especially like this character. He doesn't stand out much, but he's really kind, don't you think? Huh? Are we just gonna keep talking? You're totally ignoring my confusion. J just hold on for a sec. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> I guess it would be mannerless of us if we didn't introduce ourselves soon. I'm Asana Kanda, the mysterious schoolgirl. And this really pretty girl here is... I'm her twin, Mia. Nice to meet you. Asana. He might think you're too full of yourself if you call me the really pretty girl, since we both share the same face. Um, okay. Thanks very much. I'm Yusuke Goto. I'm just a normal businessman. Got it. So we'll just call you Mr. Four Eyes then. Nice to meet ya. Were you even listening to my introduction back there? <laughs> I feel like you're totally ignoring me. <laughs> you're pretty funny, mister. Sorry, I really thought you might be a dark kind of guy, since you're a Four Eyes and all. You're totally just going by stereotype, huh? You should apologize to every glasses wearing person in the world. I'm sorry, every glasses wearer. My bad. Well, at least you're honest enough. Anyways, that's not the point. I'll be leaving then. Bye. Leaving? Where do you think you're going? I mean, I was thinking of moving to another seat. There are plenty of others available. Whoa, whoa, come on. This is fun, right? You don't have to go anywhere just yet. After all, they do say that even chance meetings are due to fate. Yeah, that's the spirit. Nice one, Mia. She's the brains of the family. <laughs> There it is! Mia's proud face v -tine. So cute! Okay, there's definitely something off about this. What do you mean, sir? Well, first off, why are we sitting so close together? There's plenty of space in the carriage. I don't really like sitting apart from Mia. It's kind of important. And second, then why are you both sitting on opposite sides of me? There it is! Four eyes confused face v -tine. Not so cute! You have no intention of listening to me, do you? I think it's cute, sir. The gap between your suited appearance and the youth-like V-sign makes for an interesting combination. Uh, thanks for the follow-up, but I think it's really helping. I think I should warn you, though. If you're looking to get some financial gain out of me, it's not going to work. I'm just a paid employee working for a low-tier firm, after all. I'm so poor, I have to live in a town that's a three-hour commute from my office. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't. Anyway... You should get Mia to show you her manga recommendations and stuff. If you're looking for something in the app, I think this one is quite good. Man, you guys change the subject too fast, I can barely keep up for God's sake. It went on like that for three stations. 
They kept talking right up to the moment the train slid into the station where their school was located. <sighs> At the time, I thought the strange incident was a one-time thing. Ugh, why am I still being forced to sit between two high school girls during my commute even now? Jeez, will you stop monologuing for a second already, mister? It's kind of scary. I don't think it's scary at all, sir. I often get caught up in my own world just like that, too. Thanks for the follow-up, as always, Mia, but as usual, I think you're missing the point again. In all seriousness, I think you should start telling me what's really going on here. Um, what do you mean? I'm talking about how you always sit next to me on your way to school. There's a reason for it, I presume. Oh, that's our stop. Well, we'll be seeing you then. Goodbye, mister. Good luck with your work and stuff. Um, you too. Sure. Sure. Oh, for God's sake, they dodged the question again. By the end of the day, I was still no closer to figuring out why the girls kept trying to get closer to me. Hey, Yusuke! Wanna get together with some girls for drinks later? Yeah, I'll be fine, thanks. My life's fine as it is. Wow, quick answer! Do you have a girlfriend or something? I've never had a girlfriend since the day I was born. Why'd you ask? Um, okay, no need to get all defensive about it. Uh, I guess someone who had a romance-filled school life like you wouldn't understand the Wakabayashi Senpai. When you've lived alone for as long as I have, it actually becomes preferable, believe me. Your money and time is your own to spend. Of course, it'd be nice if I'd had a little love in my life, but at this point, I don't have high hopes. You really are just withered out, huh? Whatever, then how about a couple of beers? It's a no overtime today, and it's not like you have anything better to do, right? Well, I guess. Alright, let's go for Korean barbecue. I found a good place nearby. Senpai, the, this meat's pretty well cooked. Great, thanks! Oh, oh it's hot! Uh, mm, that's delicious! Meat and beer really are a great combo. I'm in heaven! Oh, they really do serve pretty good meat here. Um, excuse me, can we have two more plates of that boneless short rib? Thanks. Oh, would you be needing any more beer, Senpai? Oh yeah, thanks! Then another round of beers too! Well then, I've lost count of how many times you've done this, but cheers! Cheers. By the way, have you really never had any luck meeting women? I mean, it's not like you're incredibly unattractive or anything, right? <laughs> I really haven't. Somehow it always ends with just being good friends. I mean, I never really tried to go for it, so I don't mind, but... Oh, I see your problem. <laughs> it's right there. Listen, Yusuke, you have to throw yourself out there with women, huh? You can't just wait for them to come. Yeah, well, as I said, I, I don't mind. You know, personally, I want you, someone who's a good and hardworking guy, to make some lucky girl happy someday. Come on, Simba, I'm not that great a guy. That's not true at all! Hey, you remember how last month you came in late because you'd saved a girl who was being molested on your way to work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for the trouble I caused you then. He was right, that really did happen. That day, I've been unusually late and was being crushed by the morning rush hour when, by chance, happened upon a girl being molested by an older man. When I handed the molester over to the station staff, I realized the girl was still in shock after what happened. So, being unable to leave her side, I put in a call to Wakabashi Senpai to tell him I would work. Don't apologize! I'm trying to praise you for what happened! Even good people mightn't have had the decency to stop to care for her kid when they're in a hurry. But you did! If you ask me, that's way more important than doing your work well. <laughs> You're a much better person than me to have the decency to tell me that, Senpai. <laughs> you really are a weird guy, Yusuke. Although, I guess that's what I like about you. You keep up that reserved attitude of yours, though, and you'll never get a girlfriend. Not unless some girl is weird enough to come at you herself. <laughs> I doubt there's any girl that weird, though. Ugh, I think I drank too much. Ugh, this always happens when I drink with Wakabayashi Senpai. He makes it too fun to hold back. Oh, I really am wasted. Plus, it's later than I thought, so all the seats are full. Good evening, Mr. Four Eyes. Huh? Asane? Yep. It's me, Asane Kanda, a.k.a. the self-proclaimed incredibly beautiful schoolgirl. It's rare that we should meet like this on our way home. True. Uh, where's your sister, Mia? Why do you prefer her company to mine or something? No, I mean, you're always together, aren't you? I had club activities today, so Mia went home without me. Unfortunately for you. You're in the Japanese-style archery club, right? Bingo! Are you on your way home from work? Or not? Your clothes reek of alcohol. I was out drinking with a work colleague. Did you go for a Korean barbecue? You got me. It was delicious. <sighs> You're the worst, mister. I've been doing club activities on an empty stomach. It's torture, it's what it is. Um, I'm sorry, I guess. Apologies won't fill my stomach, mister. 
Oh, it looks like it's getting a bit crowded. It looks like it. Would you mind moving a bit farther back? No prob. Oh, but wait. In this posture. I'm sorry. Am I touching you anywhere? No, I mean, this is a cabadon. You know, like in those girls' comics and stuff. Oh, you mean those? You don't seem too thrilled. I'm just processing the relief that I didn't molest you by accident or anything. That's way more important to me. Are you the kind of guy who'd never even think about molesting someone, mister? Ordinary adults usually don't think that. Even if, say, I were allowed to? Do you think I'm attractive, mister? What? How about it, huh? If you say stuff like that, some maniac with no common sense might actually take you at your words, so stop it! So, we've established that you're not a maniac with no common sense, then. At the very least, I'm not an adult or a young child for some selfish reason, huh? So just leave your button alone. Fine, I'm sorry. Oh, this is my stop. Bye, mister. See you tomorrow. Uh, sure. See you tomorrow. I'm glad you were who I thought you were, mister. Huh? Did you say something? I, I didn't hear you. Nope, it's nothing. Bye bye Oh, by the way, I met Mr. Four Eyes on my way home today. Do you mean the guy with the glasses? Yeah, that's him. He smelled like grilled meat and alcohol. And, well, some stuff happened, and... What do you mean, some stuff? I'd rather not say. He told me off about it, is all. <laughs> really? What did you do? I said I'd rather not say. Anyway, it's not the point. So, what I was trying to say is that Mr. Four Eyes was exactly the kind of person we thought he'd be. Yes, I think so too. After all, he does put up with our talking to him in the mornings. You have your manga as a shred of interest to talk to him about too. Although, he does look like he's having more fun when he's talking to you. Really? You think so? I think he's just less reserved when talking to me. He's just trying to be friendly. I'm a bit jealous. So, Mia! I think we should ask him about the thing. I think he can be really trusted. I'm fine with him too. Hmm, I thought it was. I want someone like him. Oh, Asana. You're so mean. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Well, let's ask him tomorrow then. Okay, Asana. Thanks as usual. It's no problem. Seeing as it's for my baby sister and all. I'm really sorry, Wakabayashi Senpai. I think I have a fever. No problem. I guess the exhaustion finally caught up to you, huh? It looks like you still have a lot of paid leave left over, so just take a couple days off. I'll take care of the paperwork. Thank you, sir. Next time we go out for Korean barbecue, I'll pay. Yeah, I'll be waiting. See ya. Thanks again, sir. Oh, it's been so long since I last came down with a fever. Thankfully, I don't have anything pressing, so I guess I'll take a few days off. Oh, but... See you tomorrow, mister. I felt really bad about breaking my promise to Asane. In the end, it took me three days to fully recover. The next morning on my usual commute. Hmm, first I should apologize to Asane for breaking my promise with her. Despite such thoughts, the Kanda sisters didn't get on the train as they usually did, robbing me of my chance to see if they were okay. Hey, Yusuke, what's wrong? Aren't you fully recovered yet? Huh, what's that? Don't what's that me? If you can't concentrate on your work, go home. But I still got a lot of work piled up. Just give me the pressing matters, I'll take care of them. But in return, make sure you show up tomorrow with a fresh face, huh? <laughs> uh, you really are a much better person than I am, senpai. To think I'll let myself drag on my feelings for not seeing the twins this morning. I've got to do better. I've got to do better. Wait, is that... Hey, old man! What are you trying to do to this kid just now? What do you want? Don't come any closer to this kid. Huh? Mr. Four Eyes, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong, just get behind me. Huh? What kind of situation is this? Hey, let go! Let go, I say! No way! Wait a minute. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Slowly, I began to remember. It was four days ago on my way home. You're the guy that was watching me and Asane that time. Um, then does that mean he's the maniac with no common sense that you were talking about earlier? Yeah, looks like it. What did I tell you? It was a kind of result that comes from us saying such weird things in a train of all places. I handed the molester off to the train staff as soon as we got off. Thank you so, so much. For goodness sake, you're lucky I managed to stop him before anything happened. You'd be more careful from now on. You are cute after all. C cute Me? Hmm? Anyone would agree that you, your twins are cute, wouldn't they? You said it yourself. Uh, um, I guess I did say that. But, you know, it's kind of different coming from someone else, don't you think? <laughs> Asana... Are you alright? 
Oh, Mia! I'm fine, I'm fine! Mr. Forrest helped me! Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Well, now that you both here are together, would you mind telling me what's going on, all of it? Immediately after getting off the train, Asane had told me something. She said that they needed to tell me why they approached me in the first place. Asane, I'll tell him. Are you sure? I am. In fact, I think it's something I need to tell him myself. Apparently, it all started with Mia, who was naturally shy to begin with, was molested on her way to school. Since then, she developed a trauma for trains to the point that she couldn't even go to school on her own. For a while, Asane had been helping her to cope, but with her club activities, they couldn't keep going to school together forever. That was when Asane saw me helping a girl who had been molested and it came to her. I thought, maybe we could ask this person to be our bodyguard somehow. Sitting close to you on the train and saying all those things were in order to make absolutely sure you wouldn't hurt Mia. I'm sorry. Um, it wasn't Asana's fault. It was me. It's because I'm like this that I was molested. And then, seeing you help that girl, I said, I really want someone like him to be by my side. And so, what I'm trying to say is, um, Asana did nothing wrong. It's me. I'm sorry. Oh, I see. It's true you two were wrong for going off and testing people without their consent. But on the other hand, the guy that hurt you in the first place is the one really behind all this. And as grown-ups, I guess we were wrong for not being able to protect you from people like that. So, let's just say we share the blame on this one. Then, does that mean... I'm saying that you don't need to apologize anymore. You can look up now. I mean, I wasn't really that angry in the first place. For God's sake, Mr. Four Eyes. You're really too kind. Oh, by the way, Asane, you brought today's trouble on yourself, so make sure you've learned your lesson. Jeez, you're so bossy all of a sudden. Now then, you said you wanted me to be a bodyguard? I don't know if I'm cut out to be something so grand, but I'll do my best to help keep away the bad guys. you do that for us? Sure, I don't mind. As I've said before, it's our job and responsibility as adults to keep you kids safe. I just want to say thank you so much. It really means a lot. Don't mention it. If you ever need anything, just give me a call. Oh, by the way, why weren't you on the train for the last few days? We got really worried. Oh, right, sorry about that. What happened was... Uh, and this was how I, who had zero experience with women for the 20-something years of my existence, became friends with two cute schoolgirls. So, why are we sitting in this order again? There's no reason for you two to sit on opposite sides of me anymore, right? Well, I mean, we've kind of gotten used to it, right, Mia? Yeah, that's right. Plus, we got in a bit of a fight. A fight? What happened? We were fighting about which one of us would get to sit next to you. Yeah, I still don't understand. Asane doesn't even need to go to school with us anymore, right? Hey, and don't say that. I'll tell you a secret. You were pretty cool when you saved me from that molester that time. Huh? What I'm saying is, why should Mia get all the luck? Uh huh? What were these kids trying to say? So to sum it up, Mr. Four Eyes, we have something we want to ask you. Which, Which do, do you prefer? prefer? Me or me? Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.